Hey everybody, Corey Marner here, former NFL linebacker and author of the book, Your Life. Thank you for being here in Touchdown Studios. I'm so happy. Hey, today I want to talk to you a little bit about momentum. Uh, coming from the sports world, uh, that's one thing that's always talked about, uh, and Lou Holtz uh, at Notre Dame stresses so much about having momentum. And when you get momentum, you take it and you capitalize on it and you run with it. And so I thought about what would be, what would be a great training video for talk about momentum with you and, and how when you get momentum, how you keep going and you keep going and you keep going and you don't stop. And it builds so much and it flows and flows and flows. And before you know it, man, you're, you're, at, you're at your destiny. Uh, so I thought I'd share a little training video with you about momentum uh, and, and give you some kind of some insights. I kind of created a little thing for you on this, on this whiteboard here we'll dive into and have some fun. And, uh, and then we'll share uh, kind of five principles uh, that momentum, momentum helps with, okay? So let's go ahead and dive in. So here we go. So we're going to call it T time, right? And we're going to say plus, we're going to call A action, we're going to call this M. So time plus action equals momentum. Time plus action equals momentum. What does that mean to you? It means exactly this. The more time you put into something, actually, let me back up. The action that you embark on, right? The more time that you do it consistently produces momentum. The action you embark on, the more times you do it consistently produces momentum. And that's what you want. You want momentum pushing you towards your goals and dreams, towards your destiny, right? And by doing it, it's about you understanding that it involves action, first off. You have to do it over time, secondly. And it'll get to here over time. Now, what you can do is you can take it a step further, right? And you can say, okay, time plus action equals momentum, right? And at the end of it all, this all equals your outcome. Think about it, right? It's not, it's not hard. Yeah, I'm not really a big math guy, so bear with me. So, yeah, right? You have an action. The longer you do it, right, consistent, consistent, consistency over and over and over and over again equals momentum, right? You're building something, right? It's going somewhere, right? When you go to the gym, right? The longer you do it time and time and time again, you gain the strength, right? Uh, you see your body change. You lose weight. You get more endurance. Simple and easy. It makes sense, right? But are you doing it? Hopefully you will now. Now on that same level, okay, what's the outcome you want? Well, I want to go to the gym and I want to lose weight and I want to get toner and I want to get fitter. So all you're doing now is, again, time, the action, least momentum. And over time, we get back to the outcome. So remember this. Start embarking on your action. Be consistent with it day in, day out. That's your time. And you'll lead to momentum. And when that momentum is built up, it builds up and builds up, boom, it leads to your outcome. All right? So understand that for you to, to, to make it happen, for you to live in that place, for you to find that destiny, find that dream, it's going to take a commitment of action and time. And just know that. Now I want to talk to you. I want to give you five, five points that um, momentum helps with, right? So five points that momentum helps with. Uh, point number one, I'm just going to be all, I'm going to be all kind of over here for a little bit, so hopefully you'll see it. Um, uh, point number one is, is, um, is breakthrough challenges, right? Breakthrough challenges, right? By being consistent, by digging in day in, day out, you know, you break through your challenges of maybe your fear of, I can't do it, right? But being consistent with it, right, and giving full action to it over time, momentum, you break through your challenges, Right? So number two, uh, positive, positive look, right? So now you gain momentum. You feel it. Okay, man, I can do this, right? You gain some new fresh confidence. You gain, you, you become alive now because you know, hey, yeah, this can actually happen. Uh, you know, I can actually do this, right? So your positive look, right? You now know you can succeed, right? So, so this momentum of action, Time, time plus action, momentum, you now know, hey, 
I can succeed. I can do this. You know, I can make this work. Wow, it's not as challenging as I thought. Uh, I, I'm okay being a little bit uncomfortable, right? Uh, we know it helps overcome fear, right? Helps to overcome fear. So a, as you embark on your action and you commit enough time to it, over, over, uh, commit time to it, as you increase, as you go, as you move, as you expand, you're, you're, you're building momentum. You're, 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 you're finding, you're, you're, you're finding a, a, a way to get there, right? And what that does for, for fear, it, it, it kind of devours fear, right? It, it, it kind of makes it kind of go away, right? It's, it's there. You feel it. It's like, oh, wait a minute. Okay. Okay. It's, it's not so scary. I, I'm not so afraid. I, I, I'm not so nervous, right? And, uh, two, three, four, five. and the last one I think is, uh, uh, is, is huge for you. It, it helps you to predict your outcome, right? See, if you say to yourself, okay, I'm going to go to the gym five days a week. I'm going to put, you know, 25, 30 minutes in cardio. I'm going to put another, another 15, 20 minutes in the actual lifting weights. And I'm going to watch what I eat. You're taking diligent action steps, right? For an outcome of, you know, better looking body, better physique, better health, better endurance. So now you look good in those jeans or you look good in that swimsuit or you look good in that shirt. So everything, think about it, everything starts here with action, right? Everything starts with action, right? And then you have to decide, okay, are you doing, are you giving that action enough time? Are you giving that action enough time to see results, right? You can't just go to the gym on Monday and not go again a month later and think you're going to lose 10 pounds, right? You got to give that, that regiment time, right? So give it time. So there you have it. A really simple and easy. Again, I, I'm not a big math guy, but you know, I, I, I've been around sports for a long time and some Hall of Fame coaches and Hall of Fame players. But at the end of the day, it's constant action, constant action over time leads to momentum. And over time leads to a successful outcome if that's what you so desire. So to recap, time plus action equals momentum. If you put all three together, you, you can get the outcome you desire, right? And then moment, momentum, there's five pieces of momentum that, 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 that can help you push forward and push through and give you a new light and new excitement to know that, right? Momentum helps you break through challenges, right? Gives you a positive outlook, positive look, helps you to succeed, helps to diminish fear, and it helps to find your true outcome. Awesome. Well, I hope this uh, video has served you today. Again, thank you again for being uh, inside Touchdown Studios. Uh, I'm such an honor and, and, and a privileged pleasure to, to coach, to train, to teach. Uh, I, I truly enjoy doing this and truly enjoy love this. Remember this though, you know, it is always your choice to get off the sideline and get into the game, right? You can't win the game of life. You can't win the game of business sitting on the sideline. As always, Corey Miner, have a blessed one.